tense is past continuous tense it is also called past progressive tense and it is also called past imperfect tense the structure of a sentence in this tense is subject plus was or were plus verb one plus inform and was is used for all the singular subjects and were is used for all the plural subjects if you see the structures i was playing we were playing you were playing you were playing he was playing she was playing they were playing so these are all the basic structures of a sentence in past continuous tense so this particular tense is used for ongoing actions in the past actions which were taking place at a particular time in the past right now they are not taking place but they were taking place at a particular time in the past they were continuing at a particular time in the past so for such kind of situations we use past continuous tense and there are certain keywords which are used in this particular tense they are at this time yesterday at this time last sunday at this time then at 10 pm last sunday at 6 pm yesterday at that moment yesterday so such kind of keywords are used in this past continuous tense and if you take them in examples i was watching tv at this time yesterday so today you are talking about yesterday activity at that time yesterday you were watching tv right now you are not doing right so in a similar manner we were sleeping at this time then then we were sleeping not now so that was the past activity you were continuing at this time then so in the next sentence she was writing an exam at 10 a.m last monday so you are talking this monday that she was writing an exam at this time last monday so that was completed she was continuing at this time but now she is not in a similar manner the kids were reading at that moment last week at that moment they were reading kids were reading not right now in a similar manner they were working at 10 pm last night last night they were working at 10 pm you know not today's night so past continuous tense is used to talk about all these kind of activities which were happening sometime in the past and there is one more use of past continuous tense so past continuous tense is used to talk about temporary actions in the past and actions that began sometime in the back in the past and continuing at the given point of time in the past so they began at some time in the past and continued up to some time in the past at a given time so for such kind of situations we use past continuous tense and there are certain keywords like that week that day between 10 a.m and 11 a.m between 8 a.m and 3 p.m between 10 a.m and 11 a.m so such kind of keywords are used in past continuous tense and let us try to see them in examples i was teaching grammar that week i'm talking about that activity this week i taught grammar i was teaching entire week so entire week that activity continued and i stopped and this week i'm not continuing so that situation we have to use past continuous tense and the next sentence we were sleeping that day between 1 pm and 3 pm so from 1 pm till 3 pm we were sleeping on sunday not here so at that particular time that activity continued up to certain extent and it ended there itself in a similar manner she was chatting yesterday between 7 pm and 11 pm so from 7 to 11 she was chatting yesterday so the activity started 7 ended at 11 it continued those many hours so such situation we use past continuous tense in a similar manner they were building a bridge that year the entire year that year they were building not this year they started one year ago they continued last year they completed it so for such kind of situations we use past continuous tense and there is one more usage of past continuous tense if there are two actions that happened in the past tense for example an action was taking place when some other action comes in between 
or takes place or took place so when such kind of situation is there and there are two actions so simple past tense is used for completed actions and past continuous tense is used for ongoing actions for continuing actions that is very very important simple past for completed actions past continuous for ongoing actions the actions which were continuing at that point of time and there are two keywords here while and when let us see an example i was reading a book when ravi came to my room yesterday so here there are two verbs was reading came i was reading so activity of reading was continuing at that time ravi came so he already came so that action completed so that's the reason that completed action was written in simple past tense so subject ravi plus verb to came but here i was reading so it is in past continuous tense subject plus was plus verb plus ing form so that's the reason this action was completed came so this action was going on while i was reading he came so this is the situation we have to understand in the second sentence while we were going to school we saw an accident so while we were going accident took place we saw verb two so it is in simple past tense while we were going it is in past continuous tense in a similar manner lights went off while we were reading so lights went off while we were reading while we were reading past continuous tense went off verb two so it's a simple past tense so in a similar manner the girl fell down while she was cycling fell down simple past tense while she was cycling past continuous tense so past continuous tense is used for all ongoing actions in the past for some time for a fixed time and the structure of a sentence in past continuous tense is subject plus was or were plus verb one plus ing form.